This week was a bit of a slow week. Tesla didn't post any new additions. They're one of the CPOs that does update in bulk on some periodic cycle. And I thought it was once a week, but there were none this week, so we'll have to wait to see what happens next week. Similarly, Circle K Kushchard did not post any updates. And I think their update cycle is once per month, and we'll be probably approaching that during the next week. So we'll see if they post any more. I know they're opening stations. It's just nothing new is added to the database. Pilot Flying J opened one, ChargePoint opened 25, EVgo opened one, and there's 122 new stalls. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Pilot Flying J. They opened Waddy, Kentucky. They're definitely not going as fast as they need to, and we'll see how it goes through the summer, but they need to pick up the pace in order to reach their goal of 200 by the end of the year. The next one is charge point. There's a couple of things I want to call out here. YouTuber Leonard 65YT, I'll put the link down below in the description to his YouTube channel, mentioned that loves in documentation for their Nevi awards indicated that they're going to be using ChargePoint Express Plus hardware. And right here are three stations going into a loves in Boron, California. And I was watching to see if there was any build out of loves in charge point and this one caught my attention but i don't think this is the main build of the loves dc fast charger project and i'll explain why here in just a second also i'm looking for the mercedes-benz charging hub and this is the signature that i'm looking for which is two stalls indicating charge point express plus hardware which is what the mercedes-benz charging hub uses and three um, units. So this is exactly what I'm looking for, except it's at a Ford dealership in Northampton, Massachusetts. So <laughs> Mercedes is not <laughs> installing into a Ford dealership, but um, this is what I'm looking for. Something like that at a Simon Mall. And there was an article from the um, Clean Technica, Jake Richardson interviewed the head of the Mercedes-Benz charging hub Andrew Cornelia. And in here, he gives some additional insight. They were talking about 31 buckies. Right now, there are 12 buckies installed, but there's mention in here of 30, 31 buckies. And where is the 50? Right here. So at Simon, there's going to be 50 stations by. 2027 so you know we've got three years to install 50 stations so it's not as fast of a rollout as was initially indicated they're also going to be switching over to NAX um, on the vehicles and also in the Mercedes-Benz charging hub going to be using NAX across the infrastructure so I'm watching for anything in here at a Simon Mall property or at a Bucky's that indicates an increasing of the build out of their Mercedes Benz charging hub. But right now they have stagnated on 12 Bucky's and their headquarters in Sandy Springs. And there is indication from uh, Chris on Plug Share, a fellow EV enthusiast, that the first phase of the Mercedes Benz charging hub is now complete. And I'm not quite sure exactly what that means, but uh, I think they're on a a pause and assess uh, while they continue the build out at the additional Bucky's and at Simon Mall properties. So I'm on the watch out. We'll see what happens. All right, now let's talk about loves. This location, if you look at these pictures, here's August 6, 2022. The thing is dead. And this is an ABU, ABB unit. This is not a charge point unit. Looks like they were initially put in in 2020, four years ago or, you know, three and a half years ago. And likely what happened, I mean, if you look at this place, it's the middle of a desert. It's really hot. This is the Mojave Desert. Let me get a better picture of it. You know, we're right in the middle of very hot territory. And Andrews or Edwards Air Force Base, 
Air Force Base is right close to here. And so likely these things just bake to death. And Loves needed new chargers, and so they turned to ChargePoint. But these are definitely not ChargePoint Express Plus. These are ChargePoint uh, CPE250s at 50 kilowatts. So they just ripped the old ABB units out and kept the same uh, electrical feeds and put in new ChargePoint Express Plus units is all that happened here. Uh, so I do not indicate, this is not indication of Love's main DC fast charger project beginning. Uh, but it is interesting. And I am looking for something like this uh, with their uh, multiple Nevi awards. They've got many, many Nevi awards. So they do have plans to install DC fast chargers across their entire uh, property portfolio to some extent, but that has yet to be announced. So we're, we're keeping an eye on that. The next one is EVgo. They opened one station in Santa Ana, California. Thanks for watching.